Find yourself a bucket, whether metal or plastic. Mine's galvanized steel, so I have to sand it and prime it first. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the wire handle. This takes a little bit of time and effort, but you can do it. Next we're going to drill the bottom of the bucket with a pilot hole and follow up with a larger bit. This is where the harp will mount to the bucket. Now I had all these fixtures from an old lamp. I had to buy the harp. I got that at a big box store, but you can get it on Amazon too at a little cheaper price. Went ahead and spray painted it flat black. Go ahead and paint the inside flat black. This is the primer that I use because of the galvanized steel. If I didn't use it, the paint wouldn't stick that great. Top it off with a flat washer, a nut. And then I found these little rubber covers at Home Depot that fit nicely over the nut. Spray paint everything flat black. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the electrical. But first, you're going to have to drill a hole in the canning jar. I have a video coming up on how to drill into glass. You drill your hole, run your wire through, put a bulb in, see if it works. Now, this cap, you need to remove the porcelain on the inside of it because it's going to break anyhow when we drill through it. Well, we're going to go ahead and sand it, and same thing with this, we're going to find center point drill a pilot hole and then the regular size hole to fit the lamp fixture. The hole is slightly off center a little bit, so I kind of like ream the drill bit in there. Clean out the uh, inside, hammer it down flat, go ahead and paint it. This is what you're going to end up with so far. Now, after running the wire through the canning jar, you have to run it up through this tube and out the top. And we're going to go ahead, connect the two wires to the fixture. Now, if you have a three wire cord, this fixture will not work. Make sure you put the wire on there firmly with a good connection. Now we're going to go ahead and put the switch back on. This one had a nice brass switch on it. Now here's the fun part of adding the marbles to the canning jar. 
this is kind of time consuming. Make sure you don't drop those marbles in there um, too hard because you could break out the bottom of the canning jar. I had all these marbles laying around. I had just enough. I even have some old old school type marbles that the kids actually played with that filled up the jar towards the top of the jar. You can use anything for this. You don't have to use marbles. You can use whatever you have. Just add some color. Go ahead and put the bucket back on for your lamp. Attach it down firmly with the washer nut and the rubber cover. I really think this is a custom look project. Took some jute cord and wrapped it around the bottom of the canning jar. You just take a little bit of hot glue as you wrap the string around the bottom. And the finished project. I think it came out extremely well. I'm very happy with it. This is version 2 of the bow, by the way. My wife redid it for me. It looks a whole lot better. Thanks for watching my video, everyone. Please come back again. Please subscribe. Have fun.